Hey everybody, how y'all doing? This is Carla Wynix for today's inspiration. And as always, I'm here to encourage you and to remind you that you can live every day on purpose. Pardon me because the charger is acting up. But anyway, let me ask you a question. Isn't it funny when you find out that somebody that you may have admired or looked up to is just like you? Messed up. <laughs> I'm mentioning this because we have a tendency to put people on pedestals. And I've spoken about I've spoken out about that several times. Stop putting people on pedestals. A man put on his pants just like any other man. A woman put on her pantyhose just like any other woman. Um you know, nobody nobody is perfect. Nobody is flawless. Nobody gets everything right all the time. And guess what? Everybody makes mistakes. It's what made me talk about this is that I've been reading. There's, there's been a lot of reading about um, Israel. Israel Houghton, I believe it's his last name, but you know. Um, the gospel singer, I love him. I love him and his, his ministry and his work. Well, you know, I, I really tend not to try to keep up with people's personal lives because it's just that, their personal life. Um, but all of these announcements has been coming out over over um, one of the newsletters that I read. And uh, it stated, okay, that he and his wife are divorced. Okay, and then uh, another one came out, and 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 it's, it's talking about his new girlfriend, and and people are saying that she's the reason that the marriage broke up, and um, and this and that, and it, oh, it's a whole bunch of speculation, which is nobody's business. Um, but he did come out with a, I don't know, I guess. I think it was on his Facebook or Twitter page or Instagram, one of those social medias. And, you know, he stated, which is true, it's not fair to fault his new girlfriend. He met her when they were doing a movie together and what have you. The marriage was over before that, but that, that's neither here nor there. It's just that the media, the press is trying to just make this seems so scandalous and just blowing it all out of proportion. You know what? He he said in his statement that there was there was indiscretion on his part in his marriage and he take the responsibility for that. But he shouldn't have to explain that to anybody. He shouldn't have to um you know assure the public that the new young lady uh you know, that their relationship is, 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 is pure. He shouldn't have to do that. However, I think the big thing is that people, again, put people on pedestals. And it's like, I can't believe this. You know, he, I mean, a man admitted that he was wrong. He didn't go into detail. Again, that's not our business, but he did. But that's not enough. We just want to make it seem so unbelievable. Yet we want to believe it. You know, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> we want to believe the negative. We want to believe the lowdown. But yet, then we say, well, I can't believe he did that. If that's the case. But let me tell you, people... No matter who they are, they're just as messed up as you and I are. We're just regular people. I know I'm not perfect. I've made a million mistakes and I'm still making them. I made mistakes today. But it's not front page news because I'm nobody. So it shouldn't be a difference. I understand. I understand. Okay. Perhaps because he's a ministry leader that we expect more from him. But on the other hand, we should realize 
This is what makes his ministry. He go through things just as we do. How can he sing about being re uh, restored if he never has fallen apart? He's not just singing what other people wrote. He's singing what he knows. How can he sing about being forgiven if he never had anything to be forgiven about? How could he sing about the love of God if he if he's never experienced the love of God? You see, all of this is what make ministry. Because he can tell you about stuff that he's been through. And you can relate because you've been through it too. That's what ministry is about. And we, again, need to stop putting people on pedestals and expect them to be perfect. I don't know if I want to hear from somebody who don't know what they're talking about. You know, just because something sounds good doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it applicable. Applicable. I think that's the way to pronounce it. Applicable. It doesn't make it relatable. So let's, you know, kind of slow down and stop being so hard on those whom we um, think can do no wrong. You are so wrong to think that no one else can do any wrong. And then you shouldn't let that stop you. Some people use that as an, as an excuse. Look what he did. If he did it, you know, I could do what I want to do. Or why would I want to go to church? Or why would I want to be under that ministry? Why would I want to worship when look look at what they're doing? People are quick to point the finger and say what they're doing. But what are you doing? You know, <laughs> serve God. Serve God. Uh, we were in um, a mentorship training yesterday. Uh, uh, Kenneth Thrasher did another dynam dynamite job with that and the one thing he was saying is that you know we don't want to lose people by putting not putting God way up there but, but putting um, our, our relationship way up there you know some people tell you yeah I've been saved for 30 years you know and then but they portray as though they've never done nothing in those 30 years no they you know I need to know that when I fall, and I know I will, and I know I have, I need to know that God God is there to pick me up. And I need to know that from hearing it from you. I don't need to act like, you know, when I'm talking to somebody, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do no shucking and jiving. That's what I call that. I don't do that. I'm, I tell the truth. You know, um, we all, we all have sinned. We all are still sinning. But God still loves us. And he's there to restore us for when we fall. Okay? Even those in ministry and those leaders. God bless you. This is Carla Wynix for today's inspiration.